Clouda, Shidi Hi. Helen Dwi, Croeso i Holly Helen. Dyma eich siawns chi i ofyn cwestiynau am y Gymraeg neu ddysgu Gymraeg. This is your opportunity to ask any questions you have about Welsh or learning Welsh. A heddiw, diolch yn fawr, mae Eiri ac Eirian yn helpu. Ond newyddion da, mae saith question. We've already had seven questions in, so I'd better get started. Okay, iawn. Question in, question sew. Diolch yn fawr sew, I think this question arrived straight after I hung up last week. Diolch yn fawr. Why is it yn y dosbarth, dim treiglad, no mutation, but yn y dre, because town is tre, yn y dre, treiglad medal. Okay, so this is all to do again with whether the word is gwrwydd, masculine, or benywydd, feminine. Dosbarth is a masculine word, so there's no mutations. Do you remember last week, and I was telling you it's a good idea to learn things in pairs. If there's no mutation after the word, then we know it's masculine. Let's go over those pairs again. You tell me what they are. Okay, Welsh class. Dosbarth Cymraeg. Soft cheese. Caws meddal. Credit card. Cerdyn credit. Red wine. Gwyn coch. White wine. Gwyn gwyn. Toilet. Tea bach. Homework. Gwaith cartre. Golf club. Club golf. Brown bread. Barra brown. They're all masculine words. Now, if we put an ö uh in front of them to say the Welsh class, they won't mutate because they're masculine. Uh, I'll say the, I'll say the pair. You just put an ö uh in front. Very easy. Dosbarth Cymraeg. The Dosbarth Cymraeg. Caws meddal. A caws meddal. Cerdyn credit. A cerdyn credit. Gwyn coch. A gwyn coch. Gwyn gwyn. A gwyn gwyn. Ti bach. A ti bach. Gwaith cartre. A gwaith cartre. Club golf. A club golf. Barra brown. A barra brown. Singular masculine words. Dim treglad. Plural masculine words. Dim treglad. Ond. If we have a singular feminine word, the word coming after it will mutate. And the three pairs we had last week were bread shop, shop vara, post office, swydfa bost, Welsh school, Ysgol Gymraeg. Now, as it happens, they start with an S, S and Ö, so they wouldn't mutate anyway after Ö. But, as everything mutates after the word, also, if it's preceded by an Ö, it will also take a soft mutation. So, the example you gave, Sue, was tre, yeah? So, the town becomes a dre, a dre. Yeah, so how do we say in town? An adre, Diane. Uh, with your country in a countryside. Glad, it's feminine. So the country. A glad, in the countryside. An glad, or in the country. An glad. Diane, Diane, do you have a question, Sue? Okay. Question die, question Rossiter. 
How do we use the past tense in North Wales? Well, diolch yn fawr os ita, question mawr, ond. I'll try and keep it simple. So, yn Gymraeg, we have two ways of expressing the past tense. Phrases like, I worked, I ate, I helped, I paid. We can either use the verb, the verb gwneud, which means to do, to help us, or we can use the verb itself. But because you've asked your question about North Wales, I'm going to concentrate on using gwneud because that's what is most common in the gogledd. Yeah, so gwneud is to make. I did or I made, and please excuse my North Wales accent, is mi wneishi, mi wneishi. I did, mi wneishi. So the most common way of saying this in North Wales, so example, if you want to say I, want, I, I ate, you'd say mi wneishi vita, yeah? If you wanted to say, I worked, mi wne si weithio. I read, mi wne si ddallen. And that's also possible in South Wales, although we use the verb itself. So in South Wales, I could say, gwne si weithio, gwne si fwyta, gwne si ddallen. But we also use the verb itself far more frequently in, in South Wales. Ond dros ita, yn y gogledd, I did something, mi wne si vita, I did eat. Yeah, diolch yn fawr os ita am y cwestiwn. Cwestiwn nesa, when do we use moyn and when isie or isio? Well, we're now coming down to De Cymru, South Wales, because you wouldn't hear anyone in North Wales using moyn. Yeah, moyn. So if we simply want to express I want, he wants, she wants, we can interchange either moyn or isha. Isha does have a few other meanings, but as I say, for the simple expression, I want to do something, moyn or isha. And isha is one of those words we have to be careful with pronunciation, even though we see it phonetically as ACI. No one would say that. It's either isha in a day or isha and a gogledd. Um, and of course, the most important thing with isha is we don't have an. Yeah. So let's just practice the isha without the an, but other verbs which do have the an. So how would we say an easy one to begin? I'm going. Dwi'n mynd. I want to go. Dwi isha mynd. I am. I'm starting. Dwi'n dechrau. I want to start. Dwi isio dechrau. I'm leaving. Dwi'n gadael. Dwi'n gadael. I want to leave. Dwi isio gadael. I'm finishing. Dwi'n gorffen. Dwi'n gorffen. I want to finish. Dwi eisiau gorffen. Uh, I know. Dwi'n gwybod. I want to know. Dwi eisiau gwybod. A dychu eisiau gwybod. And this is why I'm having all these questions. Da iawn. One more. I run. Dwi'n rhedeg. Dwi'n rhedeg. I want to run. Dwi isio rhedeg. Da iawn. But back to the original question. So, yn y de in South Wales, moyn isio for expressing a desire to do something interchangeable. Diolch on the question. Okay. Ah, question pedwar. Teresa. Now, te. Mae Teresa isio gwybod. Pam no star. Now then, nos is feminine. So if today is dydd llun, tell me what tonight is. Nos llun. Tomorrow? Nos fawth. The night after, the middle of the week. Nos ferchar. And the night before Saturday? Nos wener. 
So why is why don't we say I can't say it? I can't even say it. Why don't we mutate in this, the expression "good night"? Well, it's a simple. Well, I'm gonna say it's a simple reason. But there's a simple answer. D won't take a soft mutation after a feminine noun, even if it ends in an s. Don't blame me. I didn't write the script. And every language is interesting. So "good night" is Norse da. The other, the other notable exception, uh, the other notable phrase you'll come across a lot is last week. Oisnos duetha, oisnos duetha, oisnos, yeah, feminine, but oisnos duetha. Diam, do you have a question? Keris, do you have a question? Question, Keris. Pam e gain pint dim. Die the pint. So, in Gymraeg, we have two ways of counting. We have a modern system which is based on tens. Yeah. So, dig. How do we say? Uh, well, Keris has told Keris. Yeah, Keris has told us what twenty is. It's die dig. Yeah. Tree dig, pedwar dig, and so on. But Keris's question is, pam e gain pint dim dithig pint. Well, as well as the decimal way of counting, we also have a traditional way, uh, which is, it is a little bit more difficult. And so we concentrate initially on the decimal, on. If you can learn egain as a one-off word, it, it, it is nicer than dithig and is widely used, widely used. So 20 pounds egain pint. Let's practice some more. 20 floors and a flat. 20 floors. Egain llawr. 20 schools. Egain ysgol. 20 stamps. Egain stamp. 20 games. Egain game. 20 shops. Egain shop, 20 houses, Egain tea, 20 weeks, Egain oisnos, and, and the, well, a really useful one, 20 minutes, Egain minute. So it's the old fashioned way of saying die the egg, but use it. Two things. Always, of course, you notice there we use the singular, Egain. Pint, 20 pound. Egain liver, egain shop, egain minute. And the other thing which is easier about egain, it's you're not going to get mixed up. Have a listen. Um, when you come to learning the clock, if you haven't learned it already, the traditional way of saying 12 is day theg, day theg, day theg. Whereas the decimal way of saying 20 is day theg. So if we say me gain, there'll be no confusion. Diane, do you have a question, Keris? Just before we started, another question came on, which was actually related. Someone saying, I understand the numbers counting up from 10 to 90. So let's go through them. 30, 3 dig, 40, Pedwar dig, 50, Pim dig, 60. Hwe dig, I notice I'm saying hwe dig rather than hwe dig, lop of ch, because it's easier to say. Hwe dig, 70. Scythe dig, 80. Oith dig, 90. Now dig, but let's go back to 20. Dai dig, and the question is, why dai dig? Well, Everything after die, everything concerned with a two in Welsh, takes a soft mutation. Die theg, yeah, die theg. Die goffi, osgwelwch yn ddal. Die de, osgwelwch yn ddal, yeah. Everything after die, treiglad medal. So, die theg. Diolch yn fawr am y cwestiwn. Iawn. Yeah. Um, Wedyn, my die question to be, 
uh, about the actual Learning Welsh uh, we have available. So my die question, or die question, there it is again. Yeah, soft mutation after die. Okay, will there be further online lessons? Now, we, we know that many of you who are watching are currently uh, part of our pilot of the uh, online and class, well, distance class, our combined learning, our blended learning. Well, yes, uh, we'll complete DIG ENED now, and then the majority of providers intend picking this up at ENED in DIG EIN in sub September. I say the majority because I think one or two have some plans for the summer. No one's going to abandon you. There'll be seamless um, progression from September on in the new term. And then someone else is asking, when will be the new Manediad courses available? Well, obviously, there'll be lots of new Manediad courses available in September. Some will be the method I've just described, where you'll do an hour independently online, and then two, two and a half hours probably with a tutor at a distance. Uh, having said that, lots of our providers are providing summer courses which will enable you to complete the entry one level within three, two or three weeks. Our new prospectus is going online, Dydd Mercher. And anyone who enrols and pays for a course before the end of July gets a course half price. Pedwar Dig Pimp Pint. Pedwar Dig Pimp Pint. £45. Now, I've got two other questions before... Before I go on to them, I'm going to see uh, what Arian has sent me here because the next two are a little bit more com com complicated. Uh, okay, we have a question here. I've done that one. Okay, when do we use Gweld, Edrich, a Gwilio? Okay, well, Diog Mike, uh, I suppose we can just translate them really. And the same as English. Gweld is to see. Yeah. So if I say, oh, try your fairness, do we in gweld a garage? Yeah. Through the window, try your fairness, do we in gweld a garage? You can say to agree with someone, so, mm, if you sort of understand, yeah. Mm, do we in gweld? So gweld is to see. Gwilio and Edrich are then a little bit more. Fluid, interchangeable. Edrich R literally means to look at. Yeah. Um, so, Dwin Edrich R Publicum. I wouldn't say I look at Publicum in English, but in Welsh I use it. So, Gwilio to watch, Edrich R to look at, but both can be used. Jochen Bauer Mike, I'm a question. Okay. Uh, what is my question? Gan, Reverend Rosa. Shamai Rosa. Um, okay, so, Ostachi Argurs Manediad. If you're on an entry level course and you're at the beginning, you're on a combi course, I'm now going to turn to three questions which are a little bit more difficult. Welcome to stay with us. Uh, but if you think, okay, I'm out. Uh, time to leave. I'd love you to stay and maybe try and understand and listen to the Cymraeg, but we have had three questions which, were on a which are on a different level. So if you are leaving, um, please come back next week. Uh, and as you've done today, feel, feel, feel free to send the, course, the questions in beforehand. Okay, Reverend Rosa, show my Rosa, question. Sit person in Dwayne. I have never killed anyone. And Rosa wants to know, do we use erioid or bith? Okay, so, um, I presume this is an actual fact. So, when we're referring to actual facts in the past tense, we use erioid. And what we're doing really is strengthening the word them. Think about it. If you say, Oh, I haven't eaten mussels. Sorry, I haven't eaten eaten mussels. Um, 
and I've never written this laws, it's exactly the same message. Mae just erioed tipyn bach yn gryfach. So, let's say uh, I haven't skied. Do we ddim wedi sgio? To say I've never skied, take the ddim out and pop the erioed in. Do we erioed wedi sgio? Do we erioed wedi sgio? Yeah, I have never drunk coffee. Do we erioed wedi yfed coffee? So Rosa's question is, how do we say I've never killed anyone? Do we erioed wedi lladd neb? Is something you've never done. Factually true. Do we erioed wedi lladd neb? As a generalisation, bith tends to be a generalisation. I could say, um, doni bith and bwyta mas pan o'n i'n blentyn. I never used to eat out when I was a child. Now, I probably did. So I can't say, do we erioed wedi bwyta mas? So, do we erioed wedi lladd neb? Diolch yn fawr. Wedyn, question. Um, question gan David. Question David yw, Mae e'n gwybod fy, dy, e, ein, eich, e. Ac mae e'n gofyn, when are they abbreviated? Now, David, do we ddim yn siŵr beth dych chi eisiau? Um, dych chi eisiau gwybod pryd yn ni'n dweud fy'n hard a pryd yn ni'n dweud fy'n hard i. Wel, peidiwch a phoen ni. Yeah? Gyda brawdeg fel Dyn i'n byw yn ein ti ers i naw naw i'n. Ie, dyn i'n byw yn ein ti, dyn i'n byw yn ein ti ni. Does dim ots, peidiwch a phoi ni. Ie, peidiwch a phoi ni. Neu, I wasn't sure if you were talking about the other abbreviation. So, blwg i ta, here's one I made earlier. So, dyma, dyma, dyma dosbarth. Canolradd, yeah? Dim anediad, dim sylfaen, canolradd. So, e, his, her, ein, awr, eich, yw, e, ddea. Iawn. Gyda a, o, ac i, we abbreviate because we have too many vowels in the way. So, if we want to say and his, we say i. Ai, ai. Have a listen. E fam ai dad. E fam ai dad. You try it. E fam ai dad. If we want to say from his, we say oi. Yep, yeah, can't say o e. Oi, oi. So from his house would be oi d or oi d e. Yeah, and the same abbreviation with her. If we're looking at ein and our an, ein ti an gardd. From our own, from our house, on ti, on ti ni. To our in, to our house, in ti. In tini. Eich becomes ach. Eich tad, ach mam. Eich ti, ach gardd. From your, och. Too many vowels, o eich. Yeah, och from your house. Och ti, och ti chi. And to your, ich. Ich ti. Daya. And then e, the daya. And daya is I, sorry, mistake here, from there, oi, yeah, from the house, oi tino, I've left one, to his, to her, to there, becomes ew, ew, that's a real, really, really, really quick, um, going over of those, but we'll put them up for you uh, on the message as well. On diolch am a question, David. 
Aqua do. Yep, my Ian question, Arash. One more question from... Oh, to them and Kavya, sorry. Okay. Pre to hint of Nevio, ve ami ar ddechrau brawddeg. Okay. So, er enghraifft, um, mi wel i si, mi glaw i si, mi nesi glawed. Okay. Well, yn y gogledd, mi, yn y de, ve. Mewn brawddeg, positif. Dim mi, dim ve, yn y negeddol. Dim mi, dim ve, mewn cwestiwn. Mae mi yn gyffredin iawn yn y gogledd. Yeah? Mi is very, very common in North Wales. Ac mae treigled medal. Mi dales i, mi weles i, mi wnes i, weld. Okay? Yn y de, fe, mae'n gyffredin, but not as common as the me in North Wales. So mae'n bosib dweud, fe weles i, fe dales i, fe helpes i, dim problem y gobl. Nate, hefyd, mae me yn gallu bod yn intensifau. Gwan dewch? Rwy ti'n mynd, na cydw, oit, mi oit ti'n mynd, yeah? It's like a bit of emphasis, you are going, mi oit ti'n mynd, yeah? Mi oit ti'n mynd. Hefyd, beth sy'n digwydd yw, dyw pobl ddim bob amser yn dweud mi, neu fe, mae mi a fe yn achosi ddeu cos y treigled meddal. A beth sy'n digwydd yn aml yn yr iaith lafar yw mae pobl yn stopio dweud mi neu fe ond yn treiglo. Er enghraif, for example, welai chi fori. Yeah? Fe welai chi, mi welai chi, welai chi. Yeah? So, mi fe. Hefyd, mi, very common in rhymes, they seem to scan very well, mi welai s'jach gydo. Yn eistedd ar bento. Iawn. Oes cwestiynau? Iawn. Dyna ni. Dyna'r cwestiynau. Dim byd arall. Nothing else for today. Diolch yn fawr. Hope it's been a help. Let's have a little recap. So, first thing we did was treigled meddal following y with singular feminine nouns like Y dre, y dre, da iawn. Um, yn y gogledd, past tense, mi wnes i, mi wnes i helpu. Uh, moen, neu isio yn y de, isio yn y gogledd, dim yn gyda isio. Cofiwch, no sta, oeth nos diwetha, dim treigled, even though nos and oeth nos are feminine. If you know the word egain instead of daidig, daiawn, use it. And everything mutates after dai. Yeah. Then we've got the abbreviations, which we'll put up. And actual facts in the past tense, erioid, dwi ddim wedi bwyta coesau broga, frog slags. Dwi erioid wedi bwyta coesau broga. Mi at the beginning of a sentence in a gogled, a ve and a de. Jochen Val, go like you this nicer. Oil.